name is Samaya Muhammad, and I am a high schooler at WD Muhammad High School. I will be introducing Kevin Tanner. Kevin Tanner serves as a commissioner of the Georgia Department of Behavioral Health and Development Disabilities. Prior to his appointment by Governor Brian Kim, Kevin Tanner served as a county manager of Forsyth. Governor Kim also appointed him as chair of the Behavioral Health Reform and Innovation Commission in 2019. Helping to secure meaningful improvements in this field, previously he served four terms as a state representative for District 9 and has a total of 32 years in public service. Before his time in the General Assembly, Taylor served as a Dawson County Manager, where he oversaw day-to-day -day operations as the county's chief operating officer. He was recognized in 2011 as the appointed official of the year by the Georgia Association of County Commissioners and in 2007 as well as Georgia Trend Magazine's 40 Under 40. Taylor received his undergraduate degree from North Georgia College and State University and earned a Master of Public Administration from Columbus State University. He and his wife, Stacy, are the proud parents of three daughters and he serves as a deacon and adult Sunday school teacher at Bethel Baptist Church. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for allowing me to be here. I want to thank Voices for Prevention for the invitation to be here today and speak and for the partners that they are to our department at DBHDD. I also want to thank some members of our staff who are in attendance today, like Jill Mays. What about this? I also want to thank some of our staff who are in attendance here today, like Jill Mays and Louis Ponzo, who are our voices for prevention at DBHDD. As some of you know, I've only been on the job two months in this current role, but I've had the pleasure of serving the Behavioral Health Reform and Innovation Commission for the last three years. I was there a few weeks, here a few weeks ago, speaking to the recovery community and the stories that I had the opportunity to hear from so many were so powerful, so strong, and so inspiring. Recovery is a miracle, and the people who find it are incredible testimonies to the strength of the human spirit to overcome even life's biggest challenges. Those are the people who give me hope, and I know they give each of you hope in our darkest times. And as a father of three daughters, I feel like one of the most important parts of my job over the last two decades has been to protect them from danger and from pain, either physical or emotional. And I think about the power of prevention in the same way. How do we help our neighbors, our loved ones, and our children avoid the pain that is inevitably comes from substance abuse and addiction? What would our world look like if we could prevent it from happening? What if we could break the generational cycle of trauma, addiction, and abuse and stop them in their tracks? In my 33 years of public service, I have seen the evolution of prevention work in Georgia. From my early days in law enforcement to my time as chair of the commission and now as the DBHDD commissioner. It seems like every decade we have seen a society adjust prevention strategies depending on the substance at hand. We've learned to balance education about risk with knowledge of the importance of predictive factors. But what doesn't change is the power of knowledge, the impact of education. As a father, I learned pretty quickly, especially with one of my daughters going to school, that no matter what I did, I could not protect my daughters every single day from every danger. I learned I could not make my ch their choices for them. I couldn't control who came into their lives. I just had to give them the tools necessary for them to protect themselves to the best of their ability and to instill the values to be for them to guide their decision making. And that's what's so important about what we're doing today, giving people the power to avoid the dangers associated with substance abuse through programs like Let's Be Clear which educates parents on the risk associated with marijuana use. Red Ribbon Week, which over the past 40 years has become the country's single largest drug and alcohol prevention campaign. And more recently, your incredible efforts to educate Georgians on the dangers of fentanyl. 
as you celebrate how far you've come today and where we are going and honor the power of your voices. There are also ex some exciting things on the horizon. The, the new opportunities to break generational cycles of trauma and addiction and abuse. The state is soon gonna receive over $600 million from the opioid settlement. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to change lives. This is real money to be used in our communities to stop the devastating impact of opioid abuse. This money will not only improve lives, but it will save lives. And it can prevent families from ever knowing the pain of addiction. I will be designated as a trustee for these funds and I will do everything in my power to make sure that the money brings hope of recovery everywhere in our state. and the power of prevention to every community in Georgia. I commit to you all that the process for distributing these funds will be fair, it will be transparent, it will be strategic, and most importantly, we will seek the advice from people with lived experience and who know the power of prevention. As commissioner and trustee, when the last dollar is spent, it is my hope and my desire and my commitment to be able to look each of you in the eye and to say that we receive the highest return on our investment because we will see fewer people dying from addiction and that Georgia's families will know that this is a state that prioritizes treatment. But the ultimate goal will be recovery and prevention. Now I know that you, all of your work is hard because you're dealing with people who have their own experiences, who have unique struggles and unique influences. And just like my daughters, you can't make everyone's choices for them. But it is important work. It is foundational work. And it will change the future generations of Georgians and how they view substance abuse use. And it will impact the place of alcohol and drugs in our society. I am grateful for what you do for Georgia's families. I thank you for everything you're doing and what you will do in the future. And I'm committed and our agency's committed to continuing our good work to continue to help those that are struggling. Thank you for having me here today.